And that is what they are. They are not looking for things. They are just studying. So when they study, they get the knowledge. Then they come back to the society and give it back to the society. Make the society a totally different brain. So that, that was for Brahman, Brahman. People who were focused on the knowledge. Knowledge. Just to get the knowledge and give it back to the society. And Brahman was not by birth. So if I am Brahman, I am very intelligent. And my son is idiot. You know, he, he has a different state of mind. So he is not no more Brahman. But in India, this is what happened. Brahman's son became Brahman, either whether he was an idiot. So, and the same application is on the second category, Kshatriya. People who were outgoing to help others. Kahin bhi jagda hai, kahin bhi koi problem hai, injustice hai. That guy will stand up and run to help the people. Others will run away. Okay, you to marry Kalima. But that can be forced. So that was his warrior class, Kshatriya class. Now his son, if he is afraid of a rat, he is no more Kshatriya. But that is what happened. Kshatriya's son became Kshatriya. Although he was just a cover. Businessman, third category. Vashya. Vashya. Now Bill gave you mentioned that. He is a brilliant businessman. His mind is totally focused on other things. And he earned money and give it back to society. Not all, but tons of money. And 
that is his contribution to the society. So he is a Vaishya. By terminology. These are Sanskrit words. But if with sons, bills, gates, son, he is a squander. He has no idea of a baby. He is no more a business category person. He may be very good in knowledge, getting knowledge. He, he can become Brahman. Get the man so, Bill Gates' son, there is no guarantee he will be a successful businessman. And third category, fourth category is the service category. Abhi bhi hai, aapke bathroom kaun saap karta hai? That's the category. Here, those people who are taking care of the cleaning and other services in hospital, nurse, nurse, nursing is a profession, very respectable, but it's a service. Service. But in India, here your cleaning lady comes to your home and she is driving better car than you. But in India, look at what miserable life they are living. So it has been wrongly applied. Bhagavad Gita wisdom was that these are the mental faculties. Mental faculties. It has an they were horizontal. One, 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 and one. Four category, equal. Equal. They gain equal respect. If you go back to Ramayana, Lord Rama, right? He was the warrior clan, Kshutri. He is eating. Jute bear jute. So, because it was all equal, he had no distinction in his mind. So, that was the application. And that was the original idea, brilliant idea. That you do, you will excel if you follow your, that faculty of mind. We have two types of personality. One is patent, one is latent. Patent you can see me, I can see you. This is a patent personality. And that is how you are known. But behind this skeleton, there is a latent personality. Nobody can see. Latent personality will make you what you are. Which means that latent faculty of mind. This is, this, is, this, is, this is all scientific idea. Latent faculty of mind. If you doctor, if he's grown up now, let us say a doctor, 70 years old, did you want to be a doctor? Honestly, he will say something else. Oh, no, no, no. I want to do the engineer. But I became doctor by accident. People have reservation. They made a lot of money. But deep down, they never wanted what they are doing. They never wanted. And in English, we say work is worship. Right? So work is worship is only applicable in those cases where what you are doing, what you wanted to do. Otherwise, it is not a worship. Otherwise, it is just a ritual. You are a good house. But deep down, you never want to stop. Deep down. Because we were just discussing. At the end of the day, everything melts away. We come alone, we go alone. We come naked, we go naked. This whole tamasha, of 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years, whatever it is. It is just a play. It is just a play. You cannot take anything. That is the brilliant formation of the universe. The mightiest, the most beautiful. They went like that. The outer body 
it diffuses, it is subject to change. It's like the whole universe is changing. There are four cycles. In your backyard, you see those. And we are made up of those elements. Our outer body, outer skin is made up of five gross elements. Earth, water, air, ether, right? And what is the fifth one? Fire. So these five elements are the gross elements. And this is the universe body. Plants, the whole economy. So they, you see the change in them. Now the fall is coming. All the trees are becoming scattered. But that does not mean they fade away. They are waiting for the spring. In spring, the life will come with vengeance. If there is a thousand ton, a stone, rock is there. Right below that is a blade of grass when the spring comes. So it is hidden. The same principle is applicable on us. We are made, of, made up of those five elements and we are subject to change. So that is why we were kids, then we Pankan, then Middle East, then Old age, and then we We, we have the idea, but we don't adjust our life according to that. So, I gave this scenario only to make the point that the stigmatization on Hinduism must be understood. And wherever you go, you carry on these thoughts that this golden idea has been wrongly applied. It was a horizontal thing. All people were equal. But in due course, rest is in rest. People who are not intelligent, people who could not get it right, they make it vertical. One, two, three, four. Brahman is better, one is better than two, two is better than three, three is better than four. Now, that was the derogation on the brilliant name of India. It was never working. Never. Never. But the idea was wrong. Like, like nuclear energy. If you give the idea and technology to NASA, they uplift the society with a lot of benefits of that research. You give it to the terrorists, they will destroy the whole world. With the same, the idea is same, but wrong application. So the idea of Hinduism, of this caseism, caseism is a mental faculty. Abhi aap dekho, abhi aapka blood analysis diya jai. So there are four types of blood. Jinko pata hai blood ka hai. There are only four types of blood. It is nature. If you need blood, you plus. So you plus. You cannot borrow other category of blood. That is how deep rooted our DNA is. And it is closely related what we do. Closely related what we do. So the idea of bringing up the classification, it was a theoretical idea that people will accept if they follow their latent qualities. So if you want to be a engineer and there are 20 students. You are getting A in mathematics all the time. That is the indication. Others are wasting time. So, engineers are banning it. They will not accept. They will be average, below average. They will not accept. But that little soul, 
which is wrapped up in small student, who is always at the top, that is indication. That is indication that he, is the, he has chosen the right profession. And there are construction workers who dig and make the whole line in the whole day. Right? It's a very stressful job. And it needs a lot of physical strength. But he's in one If you tell that guy that I will give you ten thousand dollars per month. You are only earning two thousand dollars. I will give you ten thousand dollars per month. Come and do the desk job. I will give you a beautiful desk and do some clerical work. He because the money is involved, he will accept the role. He will do ten thousand, he will accept that ten thousand. But then after a couple of months he will run away. Because that is not what he He will miss his construction. So the idea is everybody is looking for peace of mind. That is what we are all here. Whatever you do, you need a peace of mind. Does that matter? So Bhagavad Gita says, if your objective is to peace of mind, then follow your latent quality. What you like the most? What you like the most? And you only you know it. Nobody can judge it. So all those people, like in research, they are not pundits. They are all brown. That is what they like. But if you tell them, come and I will give you fifty million dollars and sell hot dogs in fifth avenue, they may do for us couple of days they will run away. Yeah, that is what my is. So the idea which I am sharing with you today is that the caste is in Hinduism is a mistake by nature. Brilliant idea, wrongly applied. Brilliant idea, misused. Brilliant idea, misused. And the society, the country, including all of us, we are paying every price. Every price. So polish your mind, get it right, and then the idea will come, inclusiveness, that we are all one. He is a spike and employee hai, wo I am doing this fine. That idea will come, abhi nahi aayega. When you focus, because he is all the four categories they are helping the society. Society. Like people who have followed their latent qualities, they are excelling in their profession, whatever profession they have to. But the idea of profession is to serve the society, make the creation more beautiful, either through money, or through intellect, or through physical service. So the composite picture, that never changes. Does not matter how rich you are. The day will come, you will be empty. Okay, we just, just discuss that. And does not matter how strong you are you will become the weakest. Does not matter how intelligent you are. We may end up in ICB, in coma. There are cases. Does not matter how resourceful I am. I may end up in a nursing home. But those are the realities. Those are not fictions. It's the reality. In Long Island, there are thousands Nursing home. One time, I think I shared with you, one time I made a presentation in nursing home. It was a very big nursing home in Suffolk County. And the presentation was to be made at one o'clock. 
going to get to their phone phone. And they started bringing the patient. The patient was on a wheelchair, and there was one attendant who was pushing that wheelchair. It was a big hall, very big hall. So it took about half an hour to fill up that hall. So there were maybe 500, 600 uh, people who were on wheelchairs and 500 people who were holding the chair. Right? I was totally, totally, I went to make presentation, but I was totally engrossed to see such a huge scale of miser. I have never seen you. You see one, two people, you know. But such a collective visitation that tore my soul. And I said, wow. We, we don't see these things. But it is there. It is right in the background. And likewise, if you go to the hospital, somebody is sick, your friend, your relative, you visit them. And you don't know the room number. You know the room number, you forgot. And then you're looking for the room number. You pass until you get the right number. All the rooms, there are two, three places. There are something, whatever the problem is. So the idea is, there is a problem of something. Either we ignore it, or we don't pay attention. But it's not a pessimistic idea, pessimistic attitude. It is the reality. Confront the reality that I could be one of them. Because they were all young. They were all brilliant people. They were earning. They had family. They had kids. They had dreams. But now it is like this. The idea is if you reflect back that one day, I may be one of them. But it's not a frightening idea. It should adjust your day-to-day -day life. Day-to-day -day life. The other day I shared with you that this whole creation, especially this globe, it's a circus. We are all playing different roles. And then we disappear. So, if it is a play. It is all play. So, whose movie, agar movie is, is creation ko movie ki tarah dekha jai. Movie mein agar aap ko ek role diya gaya hai. So, what you will do? Director gave, assigned you one role. So, what you will do? You will try to do the best in that role. In this scene, you have to cry. Right? And you don't cry. Then, as far as you are concerned, you are doomed. You will never get that part again. But like Amitabh Bachchan, you assign him any role or all the roles. He goes into the character and he exercises and displays the best or in that role, we should be doing that. Today it is a circus, it is a play, it is a movie. All these which we are calling husband, wife, kids, school, God, it is a part of the play. Your wife, you don't know who she is. Your kids, you don't know who they are. We are putting these stamp. They just came through you. Nobody asked them, you asked them, did you want to come to this person? They don't. So nobody came on this planet with their own volition. They just came. Either through you, or through you, or through me, or through anybody. And the moment it happens, we have a stamping pad with us, we put a stamp. Oh, this is my kid. I don't know who he is. He came independently. Only through me. So, instead of becoming owners, if you become trusting, that I have to take, this is a divine 
occurrence, divine opportunity, a soul came through me and it is my divine responsibility. That's it. Let me provide the best, but I should not become the owner. I am the trustee. I will pass on the best, whatever I have, but I am not the owner. But we are all owners. We never think that. That is the human tragedy. And we suffer. We pay heavy price. One is the physical body. And one is the emotional body, right behind it. This physical body. All these ideas, we suffer only because of we don't take care of our emotional body. We take care of our physical body. We go to the gym. We do joy, swimming, other things which are related to the outer frame, skeleton. This is the skeleton. If you don't believe it, tell the doctor to take your action. That is what we are. Everything disappears, but the skeleton is there. That is what we are. But we don't think we are that. So, the idea is to get it right in the right time. Time is not our time. But this is not a pessimistic idea. It is like if I give you the GPS, you are very comfortable in driving. That doesn't matter if it's California or Arizona or Manhattan. You have the GPS and you know how to put the data. Data means direction, the car. Other things GPS will take care. But people who don't have GPS, I ask them, I have to go to New Jersey at such and such place. <laughs> the guy may be totally lost. If it doesn't take care of it, the computer or GPS. So what I am saying is that these ideas, it is like a GPS. You will be living exactly like that. But people who have the GPS, he is very comfortable. He is very comfortable. But people who have that technology in their car, they are very comfortable. Others are emotionally disturbed. That is what the road rage is. Road rage means the emotional body is disturbed. Aap se le ho. <laughs> now you want to reach in time. You cannot reach in time. So what you will do? You will not give the right order. You, if there is nobody, chances are you may pass through the red line. So you reach the office. There is an elevator. Your office is 20th floor. So the elevator is full. No what to do. Your emotional body will kill you. But if you are calm, why? There are two people, you and somebody else, and the elevator is full. You have to go to the 20th floor. You will let the other guy go. If you are calm and quiet. And understand why. If you have a belly late, up two minutes late, or out or whatever. But if emotionally you are disturbed, this thought will never come. Never. And it will aggravate. Now you reach the office. You are emotionally already disturbed. The quality of your performance will be compromised. And it will be noticed. And you will not get the best evaluation. It is only because emotionally I am disturbed. So, who has to take care of that? We will do that. That emotionally I should not do. And that is the message of the public. If I praise you, that you are the best guy, and you inflate, and after 10 minutes I say, what type of person you are? No. no. First of all, I praise you, and after 10 minutes I criticize you. Praise will give you pleasure. Criticism will give you a pain. So who is controlling? 
I am the Lord. You may be very strong physically, but I am controlling you. Bhagavad Gita says, that is not the way to live. We should be very strong, like a post. So don't practice the holding practice. So when I praise you, let it go. Enjoy the praise. Let it, don't hold it. Because you are not holding, you are not practicing the holding part. When I will criticize you, since you are not holding anything, criticism will also be passed. And you will be stable. That is the wisdom of God. That is how it seems. That is how it seems. So going back to again, the caste system in the Think, what you are doing, this is what you wanted to do. If not, then emotionally you have already compromised. You may be earning a lot of money, but at the end of the day when the bed comes, you want to sleep, you cannot sleep. You cannot sleep. Because that is not what you wanted to do. So, the idea of Bhagavad Gita to divide the society on a latent platform was a brilliant idea. And if the society and individual, because society is made of individuals like you and me, if we follow that, try to do what you wanted to do, try to do what you wanted to do, otherwise work is not a worship, as we say, a work is not a worship. And then comes because these are all intertwined ideas. Then it comes the idea of karma. Karma is closely, closely identified with this casteism. It was not a casteism. This world is also wrong. It's a wrong world. Somebody put it. The Portuguese. Castas is yeah. the word Portuguese. They introduced very dangerous because it has been stigmatized. In the Western world, they intentionally use this word when Hinduism is, comes into play. Intentionally. The way I am putting you and trying to share with you, they never will do. The press will never do that because that is why in the Western world, the media is very, very prejudiced toward this stigmatization of Hindu. So, what I am requesting and submitting to you today is that digest this thought and wherever there is a discussion, put it in the right perspective. That this idea was a horizontal idea. One, one, one. But the crafty minds, West interest, they make it vertical. One, two, three, four. And so whatever you want to do, check. Am I this is what I wanted to do or no? Otherwise we are wasting time. Otherwise we are wasting time. So going back to the idea of the classification of the latent personality of people, which you cannot see, latent qualities are also, I just explained to you, are also closely related to your emotional body your emotional body. And emotional body you cannot see. One is IQ, one is EQ. Emotional quotient. Uska ham kya le rakhte. And we bear it, we suffer. We suffer. Everything. Like we take care of the outer frame on a daily basis, you must take care of
of your emotional body. And that is what Sri Guru Bhagavad Gita is. And that is what this whole spirituality is. Emotional body. We are made up of emotions. Emotions. I just shared with you that the gross elements are five. At the top of that, there are three subtle elements. Mind, intellect, and ego. And the ninth one is the spirit, Atma, Ishwarta So this package, if I understand at my own level and apply this understanding on a daily basis, what I do, does that penetrate me even if I am brushing my teeth? This idea of nine elements must be very clear to me that if I am using my teeth, it is my outer frame. But why I am doing that, that thought that I must do it, that is the, I am talking about the thought which you cannot see. So, if I am going to office, I am just relating the idea, if I am going to office, everybody goes to office. Now, the idea is, if you are going to office, then I will get my salary and the money will come and the household will run. And in due course, if I do my job good, I will get evaluation and an award and citation. If this is the idea, I am playing with the fire. Also, I have to need money. But there is another way. The same thing, as a bus pukhrenge, as a car chalayenge, as a sub building, the same. But if I think that I am going to office because Lord Krishna dictated me to go to office and I am watching you do your best, that thought will be work is a worship. That is what a work is worship. Because when you are being one all the time, your quality improves. If the supervisor is right there, your quality improves. If you go, if you are working for a supervisor, if you go for a lunch, you are, you are still working, the quality diminishes. Because now that supervision is not there. And in Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says, I am sitting in your heart. Sarvasitaham, Haridi Satni Vishto, Matta, Samriti, Jnana, Pohon. Vede Sarvai Rahave Vedetu, Vedant Kriddhe Avidhen Cha. I am seated in the heart of everybody. I am the memory. I am the forgetfulness. These are three elements he is saying in this particular verse. I am the memory and I am the forgetfulness. And people who hold this brilliant thought in their mind all the time, they are working for me. Now, in plain, plain English, it means that Lord Krishna is here. And if you are being photographed all the time, the person who takes your picture all the time, secretly, so he is still being photographed all the time. What do you think then? How you, if you are being photographed all the time, what type of performance you will get? Depends. Even the thought that you are being photographed. Abhi bhi photograph hai. Okay, I have group picture le Right? What do you do? Say that I am taking your picture. What what we do? Smile. Wo chahe kahe na kahe. Usually he will say, please smile, I am taking your picture. But if he does not say, and the camera is focusing you, what do you do? He smile. Right? But if I bring to your attention that Lord is taking your picture all the time, 
such a divine assurance coming out of Lord Krishna, who is the writer, who is the creator, we don't believe. Who's photographer ke liye hum hansate hain, who's man like you? Jo divine assurance hai, wo hum believe nahi kar. And that is our problem. We suffer. We suffer. And once you smile, smile is contagious, everybody smile. If you cry, nobody cries with you. In English, people say that. But it is practical. So, this awareness, this is, this is what I am sharing with you. It is just a, how you think. And the whole perception changes. So, if you think, we have been stressing this in many, many uh, presentations. Or it has four or five years that have been coming, six years, seven, I don't know. We have been stressing this more than enough. Keep believe this divine assurance that you are being photographed. And keep smiling. Look at them smiling. I'm not. Because we don't believe. We don't believe. I believe. Should I believe or should I not believe? It depends on whom. आपने आपना देखना है आपने आपना कोई किसी को कुछ कह नहीं करता and there is no physical thing it is just the assumption it is just the divine assurance that you are being watched so if today we do many things अगर I have a pain in my knee and we go to the physical therapist he gives you certain exercise, right? And do, you start doing that. What happens? You do both problems. Three, four months, the problem, 90% is taken care of. Am I right? That is why these all, they are mushrooming all around. People were not like that. Now <laughs> every corner, like a barber shop, is a physical, physical therapy. If the physical therapist can treat you with your physical problem, what is wrong not believing this divine assurance that Lord Krishna is seated in my heart? What is wrong with that? But if it brings the awareness, a man is taken like this to go hand in his arm. In America, the biggest problem of the aging people. Pata aapko kya hai? This is a Broadway research. If we are left alone. Loneliness is a disease. Biggest disease. Log kai kuch karte hain. Isko overcome karne ke liye. Lekin bhagat ki ka. Freely aap bring the awareness to you. I am with you. If I go to Lord Krishna is with me, it may be too late because I have not practiced. We are, we are the product of practice. So when you are young, when you are resourceful, you are full of energy. At that time, if I reinforce this thought that he is always with me, I am never alone. That problem is taken care of. But I have to practice it. And if I say, Lord Krishna is all the time with me, I am being photographed, he is a photographer. So I must, if I he is making my album, album that photographer after Bhadata hai, he takes 10,000 pieces. When, when he presents to you the album, wedding, he has 100 of them. Or hundred pictures, who oh, yeah. This may our smile does. Agar our smile nahi kar rahe, to wo reject kar rahe. Ye mail don't kara ho rahi. Right? Life is right. 
life is like that. If you want to make the best out of your existence, then get the best elbow. Smile. Smile. And this is one awareness. One awareness. The co if you are going to office, which I started the discussion, going to office for Lord Krishna, your performance will be par excellent. You know you are being watched. You will not fool around. You will give the best. Abhi bhi hum mandir mein jaate hain. That is what I am saying. Practical wisdom. Mandir mein jaate hain. To agar aapne mandir mein prashad de ra hai. Let us say aapne ko puja ke hoti. What do you do? What should we do? First of all, the idea should be that I am giving my offering to Lord Krishna or Bhagavati or Lord Rama or Lord Rama, whatever the Ishta Devi. Aapne prasad de ra Thought honi chahiye ke I should get the best. Ham nahi karte. Ham bije jate hain. Jo sasdi chizhi ho. Agar po banana jo hai. वो दो डॉलर के बीस दे रहा है तो हम बॉक्स करवा देंगे वी हैव नो आइडिया कि हम कर क्या रहे इफ वी आर डूइंग फॉर द अल्टीमेट रियलिटी जिसको ऑफर करना है उसमें आपकी सोच नहीं है क्वालिटी की वी आर मिसिंग द पॉइंट वी आर मिसिंग दैट ऑफरिंग शुड बी द बेस्ट आई शुड बी एस्किंग store people or the shop people to give me the best I am going to offer to Lord Krishna or whosoever the history. Lekin thought me. Abhi thanksgiving are here. I am giving you practical wisdom of Bhagavad Gita. Thanksgiving are here. People are donating lot of things. And people donate clothes also. I said before also this thing. कौन से क्रोध हम देते हैं अगर आपने क्रोध डिनोट डोनेट करने हैं आपको लेटर आया है तो आपने डोनेट कर दिया क्रोध व्हाट वी डू जो रिजेक्टेड है जो हमने नहीं डाल वो डोनेशन आप दे रहे हैं आर यू गेटिंग मी डोनेशन इज अ थॉट डोनेशन इज अ थॉट डिसोशिएट योर सेल्फ फ्रॉम सम प्रेशियस थिंग आपको पता हो कि डोनेशन ये होता है वो पुरानी कमीज जो आप दे रहे हो उसमें सौ डॉलर डाल के दो देन इट विल बी डोनेशन अदरवाइज ट्रांसफरिंग कार्डेज आपका क्लोज भरा हुआ आपने रखने नहीं आपने दे दिया थॉट इट इज दी थॉट बट इफ दी बेस्ट वो भी दो लेकिन बाजार से दो चार सूट खरीद के उनको उसमें भी डाल दो तब पता चलेगा कि हाउ डोनेशन वर्क्स ये वो मैंने अपना गार्बेज जो लेफ्ट ओवर है मैं ट्रांसफर कर दिया भगवत गीता से बिकम क्वालिटेटिव थिंग सो दर्क इज वर्शिप इज ओनली फॉर दो पीपल हु आर थिंकिंग दैट Because when you worship, you will, your mind is focused. That is what the meditation is. You are about meditation. करते हो ये ईश्वर की मूर्ति के आगे बैठे हो. What do you do? You try to be the best at that time. Otherwise, it will not work. So, if work is worship, then you will be the best. You must be a Giving the optimum performance, लेकिन हम करते नहीं तो वो रोजी रोटी के माने जाते हैं किसी को कहो कि जी क्या हो रहा है कि तो हम तो अपना कर्म कर रहे हैं दिस इज नॉट ए कर्म भगवद गीता वट इज टॉकिंग वॉट कर्मा इज द बेस्ट बेस्ट इज द कर्म वॉट इज ऑल एक्ट इन एन रिएक्शन वेन यू डू दर्म It is a neutral zone. You are uplifted. You are positive. You touch people and change them. 
because you are that anything less than that it is action and reaction afrikan ki aapko kaise that is and that is not the spiritual way of thinking life is one there are 24 hours everybody has their time zone usse zyada ek minute kisi ko nahi milega so brief is a decision and on a daily basis this i always emphasize with utmost ability on a daily basis what we do that is what we are if you are sitting in the car and you have you are very positive peaceful person sitting in the car you will give the right of way to people and they will wave hand from the close window have you seen that if you have the right of way i have the right of way and you are right behind me or standing next to me i let you go what you do that at suit in all walks of life all walks of life then you are a peaceful person and you spread peace your relationship with your partner i always say this also you get married and you stay together now it is divine opportunity there are 7.3 billion people crowded on this small planet like you and me that particular girl or that particular husband that union out of 7.3 billion people do you think honestly it is your planet no so if it is first of all i have to think that okay, then it is not my planet ye to ho gaya कारोबार छप गए ये हो गया वो इट हैज नथिंग टू डू विद दिस थॉट बट थिंक दिस वे कि दिस इज आउट ऑफ 7.3 बिलियन पीपल दिस पर्टिकुलर इंडिविजुअल हु इज विद मी ऑल द टाइम इट्स अ डिवाइन यूनियन सो नाउ इफ आई वांट टू बी पीसफुल हम वहां यूएनओ में खड़े होकर कह देते हैं वर्ल्ड पीस और डैमेज दिस इज नो पीस इन योर किचन take care of that person how can you talk about world peace when there is no peace in your kitchen with that person who is living with you all the time so it is a thought bhagavad gita is a thought so apply that thought if your relationship with your wife vice versa it applies to both is peaceful the moment you step out of your home you are a peaceful product you shake hand with anybody you will make them peaceful but if you are agitated excited the moment you come out of your home you can talk anything you are not peaceful and you are not presenting anything positive so this is what how bhagavad gita it affects it affects you change you but do it on a daily basis take one idea and churn it and apply it and in due course it will be your reflex like any other training i don't know swimming i take 6 months lesson i am a swimmer now i have to practice this is what the spirituality is spirituality is to polish the personality and make it positive shiny it is no or never because time is not our own side aap apne pehli picture dekho 10 20 years ago we were there no we were not there it change you pata nahi chalta idea hai but we are not adjusting to this idea that every day like a candle we are losing something but until honestly sincerely i think that way i go to i don't change that. and i pay heavy price in buddhism when lord 
Buddha, God, Nirvana, enlightenment under the Bodhi tree. His first sermon was, life is a suffering. That is what he, he had gone through. Life is a suffering. And here is the difference. That is the pillar of Buddhism. Life is a suffering. There are other ideas, but I am talking about that is the distinction between Buddhism and Hinduism. Bhagavad Gita says, Lord Krishna says, life is a blessing. You are looking at the wrong place. Adjust your thinking, make it 2020, and life is a blessing. And otherwise, life is a So adjust your mental vision, where to look, where to look. And where to look means, look at the divine assurance. Hum to research karte hai, aap ne kuch spiritual liki research ki, man ne kuch kisi ka. Lekin jo thousand years ki ne, proven, tested, time tested research hai, us ko tumhe maan lo, आप किसी को नोबेल प्राइज मिलता है फिजिक्स में वो सारी फिजिक्स का नहीं मिलता उसको उसने फिजिक्स का एक कोई एलिमेंट छोटा सा लेके 20 30 40 इयर्स की रिसर्च की उसी की एक लिटिल सेगमेंट की उसको नोबेल प्राइज मिल गया राइट व्हाट अबाउट योर फिजिक्स अब 20 इयर्स के बाद जो उसकी रिसर्च कोई और ब्रिलियंट आता है Okay, so this result is okay, but this is better. So, it will be better. Bhagavad Gita. Right, it's inception. 700 verses. 8 chapters. Thousand and thousand years. The most brilliant mind. The most elitist intellectuals. Nobody dared to change it, to make it 701 or 690. Perfect. Perfect. But I have to believe it. I have to believe it. So, we will now take rest, but I am sharing with you. Promise me this. That is our promise to us. That you are being photographed. Please smile. Smile. And Carry with this assurance that you are never alone. The divine entity is here all the time, but you have to practice it. Aap akele baat ke is baat ko socho ke Lord Krishna is there. Otherwise, this thought will disappear. I am telling you. Abhi to acha lagta hai because now we are focusing on that. Lekin baat hai, bol bol jayenge because we have you have to practice it. You have to remind yourself. It is like that. And look, the beauty, it will be showered upon you. The blessings of divine forces. The other day I shared with you, there are two types of forces, divine and devil. When your thinking is divine, divine forces help you. When the thinking is devil, devil forces help you. जो गंदी फोर्सेस हैं, वो आपकी हेल्प करते हैं। छोटा चोर जो है डाकू बन जाता है। लेकिन, if you start, if your thinking is charitable, that I have to take care of the society with my charitable thinking, you will be changing the society. Whatever resources, अगर आप हम पहले the way we have been brought up, jab bojan khate the, so we used to take a little offering and put it aside. Either for a cow or for a bird. It is a thought. And zindagi, the, the life is a thought. And it will, be, it will be very positive. Positive. Until and unless we are positive, we suffer. We suffer heavily. So don't this positivity slip from your mind. Think the positive. If 
अगर आप पॉजिटिव थिंकिंग करते हो तो वट विल बी द इफेक्ट यू विल बी एडोरिंग पीपल फॉर देयर क्वालिटीज बट नो वट वी आर डूइंग वी आर लुकिंग फॉर द डिफेक्ट इन दर्सन आप यू आर सो ब्रिलियंट पर्सन बट इफ आई एम नॉट पॉजिटिव आई विल बी लुकिंग द वीकेस्ट पॉइंट इन यूर पर्सन एंड आई विल लोन ऑल दी ब्लेसिंग which you can share with me. positivity will change you inside out you will be looking at the merits of others merits of others when you do that society becomes your friend you become a part of that then you see sarve bhagavan suki otherwise to ye to humne kaise rata hua karte kurte kuch nahi hai you don't enforce this thought sarve bhagavan suki Sarve Bhagavan Suki Nam Ki Jai. You have to work on that, and that input, that strong force, like a gravitational force, it is coming out of Shri Bhagavan Suki Nam. So next time we will build on what our dear.